going to be making a traditional Parsi dish called Mori Dal. Mori Dal is very popular with Parsis because we use it for all our auspicious and lucky occasions. Normally we serve it with rice and fried fish. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take my split peas here. I have already washed these split peas and you want to run them under the tap till the water is clear. So I've already washed these and drained them and I'm tipping them into this stainless steel dish. The reason I'm putting it into this stainless steel dish is because I'm going to be pressure cooking the split peas today and so we want to put them into a dish that's safe to use in the pressure cooker. So to that I'm going to add some water. So you just want to add enough water to come up about maybe two centimeters above the level of the split peas and then we're going to add just a little bit of turmeric. We're just going to sprinkle that on and now what we're going to do is we're going to place it into our pressure cooker. So this is our pressure cooker right here and inside you can see I've kept the trivet and some water. This is so the dal does not come into direct contact with the base of the pressure cooker and so we protect the dal from getting burnt. So we're just going to place that inside, put our lid on the pressure cooker, seal it up and turn on our stove. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up to um, temperature on high heat and then when we get the steam we're going to turn it down to low heat. You're going to let it simmer approximately 25 to 35 minutes depending on your pressure cooker. So the dal has cooked now and I've allowed the pressure cooker to cool down because you can't open a pressure cooker when it's still at high heat that's very dangerous so you allow it to cool down and usually this little marker will go down so you know that it's safe your pressure cooker may be different. Anyway, so we're going to open it and you should see that the water has absorbed into the dal. So now I've taken the dal out of the pressure cooker and what I normally like to do is I like to just stick blend it so that it's really smooth. Okay, so you can see that it's a really smooth puree now and now what we have to do is finish it off on the stove so we have to add a few things to it so now I'm just going to pour this dal into my pot here and you can see that it is fairly thick now depending on how thick you want it you can add a little bit of boiling water which is what I'm going to do I'm just going to grab my boiling water and I'm just going to pour it in until I get the consistency that I want. If you like a thicker dal, then obviously you won't need as much water. But if you do put it in the fridge and then want to reheat it the next day, you will find that you will have to add a bit of boiling water to the right consistency again. So don't be afraid to add some water to it later on, that's fine. I'm going to turn on my stove. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a few little extra bits for flavor. Add some salt. I've got some rock salt here, but you can use any salt that you have at home. And now we need to add some butter. Butter is a really key component to the flavor of this. And although I'm not big on having a lot of fats, I do think in this particular dish, you do have to have a good amount of butter in it to get the flavor. So I use about two to three tablespoons depending on on how much dal I'm making and I may even add more if necessary but we'll see how we go. Now a secret my mum taught me about making really good dal is to add just a hint of sugar. It just creates this really nice flavor that I can't put my finger on but it just tastes really good and if my mum says that it's good it must be because her cooking is amazing. And I'm going to allow the butter to melt in, the sugar to melt in. And then of course, 
When you're cooking a dish like this, depending on how much dal you're using or the amount of flavor that you prefer, you may need to alter the flavor slightly. So what I usually do is I will take a little taste and see if it needs something at this point. Hmm. I might just add a little bit more butter. But that is essentially it. I mean, you put a meal here with practically, what, four or five ingredients, which is really nice. And that's it. Parsley mori dal. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. I'm going to have a quick taste just to make sure it's perfect. I have a winner. Please like and subscribe if you like this channel. Please check out my food blog, eatandstylebyfarita.com and also check me out on Facebook. Alright, bye!